Of the imbecile who said young deaf dogs couldn't be trained. I've got my favourite food here. I'll show you untrained if you would go in and just grab this. Well, here we go. This is Lexi's uh, Tilly Story State. You can see her there. Sit. Sit. Wait. Yes, if you make them wait for the food until both are down. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Sit. Stay. Wait. And yes, I am giving her hand cues. Sit. Sit. Because she is deaf. Sit down. Back up. Back up. Back up. Sit. Ah. Lexi. Stay. Stay. Wait there. Paul. And the one. Ah. Paul. Good girl. Okay. Wait. This is Dr. Lynn Trade, so you'll be going after this by now. I can't find the time she runs, but she's waiting for my cues. Yes! Good girl. And yes, I do put my hand near them. I do pet them. They know that if I want the food away, I will take it away. Same with this dog, I do pet. You see, also the Jack Chris is trying to guard. If a dog resource guards like she's doing that, I'll take it away. I wait. Give it back. The whole point of the resource garden is that you're deterring the behaviour. Sorry there. See again, I can push her away. No resource garden. Yes. If she's just looking at me there, so she's well, can I have it or not? I give her this hand signal, yes, and she knows. You always let the black and white one eat first, because she eats literally like no tomorrow. Again, my hand in the bowl. I haven't lost any fingers. I can pick the food up. Bowl's there, I can put it down. Same with that one. As you can see, no fingers. I can just put my hand on them. I can pet them. I can even pull her ears if I want to. I can move the ball. You see, she's looking at me there. Pulling her for a deaf dog, quite a lot of people make the mistake of just going in like this because they haven't seen your hands properly to go through your fingers. What you should do to alert them is touch them first, make sure you can see your hands though. And then put your hands beside them. But a lot of people make that fatal mistake. Again, when we're out and about, it's the same thing. You need to make sure the dogs can hear you. Oh, yeah, you see, see, sorry. I'm sorry for that um, misword in there. I have one hearing dog and one deaf dog. But this one, I have got a hard feeling it's like you're starting to go blind in one eye because she seems to be acting a bit odd. But I always let her eat. If you bring the dog into the household before the last dog, you must always, what I say is you must always let that dog eat first. As you see it, you're the alpha, the one who's holding the camera basically. And then you've got the beta, who eats second. And then you've got the very bottom of the pack, who eats last. When you allow the bottom of the pack to eat first, they take that as well. I can do what I want, sorry. That's not a good behaviour. And yes, I've noticed I'm not picking the balls up yet. I'm waiting. What? As soon as she's finished, I pick the ball up. Yes. Not to clean the ball up properly. Oh. Oh. Back up. Back up. 
good girl. And yes, they are supplied water every day, all day, so they can drink. Excuse me for a second. Yeah. Ah, back off. Back off, good girl. Nope, back off. I'm basically giving this hand signal to her back off, so she knows that means back off. Where well, she's away playing. Well, I hope that's able to help people on my training videos on the why deaf dog snack. A lot of people make that fatal mistake and end up putting their hands in the bowl before the dog sees them. A deaf dog, you can't hit them like a normal dog, unfortunately. There's a lot more hand signals towards them. Like sign language, like for her, if I don't want to do something, it's no, like that. Or if I want to say, get a food, it's yes. I've taught, I've taught her to do left and right with my hands, so I can check her paws. Just basic commands like that, a lot of people don't teach their deaf dogs and they wonder why they're out of control. If there's anything you want, or anything you want to know, just DM me in the comments and I'll try and help you.